In the previous lecture, we understand a lot about list. Now, in this lecture, we're going to talk about some important methods of list. We're also going to understand how we can delete the list value from the list. We know that using list slicing, we can slice a value from the list. But in this lecture, we're going to understand how to use delete keyword to delete a value from the list. So let's first take a look at how we can delete the value from the list. So for example, let's say if I have here a variable num and this is the type of sequence and then I'm going to specify a list to it. And in this list, we have numbers. Now what I want, I want to delete the second index from this list. So I'm going to just specify here. So down here, I'm going to say delete and then I'm going to specify variable name and then I'm going to specify the index number which I want to delete from this list. So right now I want to delete my second index. So I'm going to specify here too. So when I try to print this number, you can notice the second index is now gone. Now using this delete keyword, you can delete any value from the list. You can also use slicing with this delete keyword. Let's say, so if I just say here two and then specify here minus two like this, then when I execute the statement, you can notice I'm going to have the result something like this. This statement is going to delete some values from this list. Now let's take a look at some useful list methods. List methods can be useful to manipulate list. Methods is just a function that is tightly coupled with the object. Using that object, you can easily call a specific method. Now, for example, the append method is used to append an object to the end of the list. So let me show you how we can use method in Python. So I'm going to say here number, then specify dot, specify append method, and then specify here 10. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to first call the object. So this is kind of object, and I'm going to call a method of this object, append. And then I'm going to append this 10 value in this list. This append method is going to append a value at the end of the list. So when I try to print this number, we have 10 value at the end of the list. We'll talk about what is object and method later in this course. In Python, there are different objects and the objects have different methods. So for example, let's say this number object is going to call this append method. I can call the extend method as well using this number object. So what if I just specify here extend, then this is also a valid statement. This number object is going to call extend method. Object can have one or more method inside it. So you're not limited to only access one or two method using a single object. You can access multiple methods using the same object. The extend method is going to help you to append list several values at once. So here I'm going to create another list addition down here. And then I'm going to just add this addition list in this number. So I'm going to say here num call the extend method. Then I'm going to specify addition as a parameter to this extend method. When I try to print this number, you can notice this addition is now added to this number list. So basically, we use methods to manipulate our data. Now there are thousands of methods you can use in Python to save your time and manipulate your data. Now, let's take a look at one more example to understand how to access a method using an object. I'm going to get rid of this statement. And now suppose, what if you want to copy a variable? You can use a copy method to copy the variable. But before we learn how to use the copy method, let me just show you how assignment operator work to copy the same variable. For example, let's say you have a variable A and this is a type of sequence. And I'm going to specify a list to this variable and then I'm going to copy this variable. So I'm going to say here B is equal to A. So I'm going to copy this variable and assign this list to this B variable. And now when I try to print these variables, you can notice both variables are same. Now what if I just change the B variable? Let's say if I just specify here B, then specify minus 1, and then I'm going to specify 5 here, just like this, to add this 5 value at the end of this list. When I execute the statement, you can notice both variables are changed. Both variable has same value because B variable is refers to the A variable. So whenever you change in the B variable, it's going to reflect on the A variable as well. And if you change anything in the A variable, that's going to reflect on the B variable as well because we specify assignment operator to both these variables. Now, in case you want to change B variable value, you don't want to change the A variable. In this situation, you can use copy method. So instead of assigning this a value to this b variable, I'm going to simply use copy method here. I'm going to say here a dot copy. 
So this method is going to copy this variable in this B variable. Now when I try to print this statement, the result will be different. We have this first A variable and this is our second B variable. Now the second B variable is now have 5 at the end of the list and here I have the default variable. The B is not going to copy the reference of the A variable. So this is how you can copy a variable using the copy method. We use A as object and then use copy method to copy a variable. Then we also have count method to count a value of the list. For example, if I just say here count is equal to a dot count, then I want to find how many ones are there in this list. I'm going to specify here one. You can notice here I only have one in this list. Let me just add one more one here just like this. Now when I try to print this count variable, you can notice you are going to have two as a result because we have two one in this list. So the count method is going to count how many values we have in the list. So this is how you can use a count method in Python. Now what if you want to clear the list? You can use a clear method. Let's say you want to clear this a variable. You would just simply specify here a dot clear just like this. And when I try to print this a variable, you can notice you're going to get an empty list because this method is going to clear all these values from this a variable. Now we already know that how we can access the value using index. Let's say you want to access this too. You will just simply call a and in the square bracket you will specify 1 because this is the 0 index and this is the first index. If I want to access this 2, I'm going to specify here 1 and when I specify this 1 right here just like this, I'm going to have the second value as a result. This print statement is going to return the second value. But in Python, you have a very useful method to call index. This method is used to return the index number. For example, let's say you don't know what is the index number of the second value. You can use the value as well instead of using this index number. Let's say I don't know the index of this second value. I'm going to just simply specify here index. This is variable. You can specify any name to this variable. That doesn't matter. Then I'm going to specify a and call a method index. And then I'm going to specify value to this index as a parameter. So I want to get the index of this second value. I'm going to specify here 2 and then I'm going to print this index. When I try to print this index, I'm going to get 1. The index number of this value is 1. So using this index method, you can get the index number of any value of your list. Now, you know that how you can reverse this list using slicing. We understand that in the previous lecture. Now, let's take a look at how we can use a simple method to reverse this list. I'm going to use a Python reverse method to reverse this list. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this variable and I'm going to use a reverse method here. So I'm going to say here reverse and I'm going to get rid of this parameter because we don't have any parameter to this reverse method. So I'm going to get rid of it. And now let's just check this variable. If I just specify here a and try to print this variable, you can notice the a variable is now reverse. You're going to get a reverse list. Then let's take a look at very useful method short. Shorting means changing the original list so its elements are in the shorted order rather than simply returning a shorted copy of the list. For example, let's say you have a number variable just like this and you have different values here. Now what I want, I want to short this list. I'm going to simply use short method. So here I'm going to just specify here num. I'm going to call an object num and then call a method short. And just after that, I'm going to just copy this num and print it. So when I try to print this statement, you can notice my list is now shorted from 1 to 7. Now keep in mind the short method is going to change your original object. So it's going to change this number list completely. So whenever you try to access this number variable, you're going to get the shorted list. For an exercise, use this number variable and then try to short using short method.